guys, welcome to our second day and second video of LBT Special Week. I'm Larissa and today I'm going to tell you my story with the Lizabetta Diaries. It started on an afternoon when I was coming back from class. It wasn't a Monday, I can't remember which day it was. But I was on Facebook just, you know, passing time and I found a message from a friend and she had posted the video link and then, you know, tagged me and a bunch of friends in there and she said, you know, you girls gotta watch this and she didn't say anything else. So I opened the first episode and I watched it and I was like, who is this girl who thinks she's Lizabetta? I was just really confused. For a moment, I really thought the whole thing was true, but she was actually posing as Lizabetta. And then I checked the description and I realized that it was actually fiction and it was a show and my head just burst. I have loved Pride and Prejudice ever since I was 13 and I watched the 2005 adaptation for the first time. I was in love with Matthew McFadden and, and obsessed with the idea of Pride and Prejudice. And it was the very first classic novel that I read on my own, you know, without being forced upon it by my school teachers. And after that I started following the episodes on a weekly basis. I subscribed to the channel and watched every episode as soon as it aired. A few weeks later I received a notification on Facebook that I had just been added as administrator to a fan page which was called Socially Awkward Darcy. And I was like, what? Who did it? Because as far as I knew, aside from those two or three friends that I didn't know that were still watching the Elizabeth Diaries, I was doing it that all by myself. I was obsessing over a web show without having anyone to talk to. And then there was someone in my Facebook who was not only making up a whole fan page about the Elizabeth, but also adding me as an administrator without asking me first. And then I went talking to her. She was actually friend to a friend of mine, and we had never talked before. And that was the story of how Socially Awkward Darcy started. At first it was just me and her and then things just, you know, grew out of proportion and we couldn't handle it anymore and then other girls came up and we became the Socially Awkward Darcy family, which is now one of the most beloved groups I belong to. I love those girls so much and we're basically composed of four Brazilians and one French girl who are now like best friends forever. I love you girls. And after that, the whole Lizzie Bennett fandom just grew so much because I started meeting so many people. Because of Socially Awkward Darcy, I started meeting another group of Brazilians who I liked it too and we created the first Brazilian group dedicated to the show. And after that, we created a book club, which then became, you know, a every fandom shit book club. And right now, I can honestly say that the best friends I have in life became my best friends because of the Lizabetta Diaries. I got to know a lot of people from other countries and a lot of people from other places in Brazil. It just changed my life forever. A lot of things have happened ever since the Lizabetta Diaries first aired and a lot of things have changed in my life, uh, both professionally and in my personal life. But I think these are the memories that I hold dear. And I loved every second of it. I think the Lizabetta Diaries is so important to me, not only because it's a great show, but because it made me make all these new memories and all these new friends and I can never replace that with anything else and despite the fact that I'm following the whole reposting thing on Pepperly Digital's fan page and then I'm enjoying it and that I have re-watched the Elizabeth Diaries like countless times ever since it's just not the same in a way and I like that it's not the same because all those memories are gonna be with me forever and every time I re-watch it more than just joining the show again I'm enjoying a piece of my life that I'm never gonna have back, but it's eternally, you know, tattooed in my brain and in my heart. That was very deep. Anyway, I'd like to know what your story with the Lizabetta Diaries is. So please, in the comments, just tell me how did you get to know the Lizabetta Diaries? How it changed your life? How many friends have you made because of it? And I hope you liked this video. Come back tomorrow for more, and I'll see you then. Bye!